Hello, my name is Jose Garcia, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use hole geometry to help you create holes uh, in NX Cam. Now, I've already taken the liberty of setting up my machine coordinate system and also my workpiece. If you don't know how to do that, stay tuned. I'm going to have a video that explains that a little bit more in depth. But in this case, I want to use an 1164th drill bit to drill these six holes here. Uh, but I don't want to create one uh, operation for each individual hole. That'll be incredibly time consuming. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a hole geometry feature to be able to recognize all these holes and then I can set that as the parent of my operation. In order to do that you come up here into the create geometry button and then you drop this down from mill planer to say hole making. The one that I'm interested in is the whole boss geometry there. So I click that. Now the parent of this is actually going to be the workpiece, not the MCS mill. So now I can come in here and name these holes. So I'll just call this 1164 holes. Not the best naming convention, but you get the idea. And then I'll say OK. Now from here, what I can do is I can go in there and select each individual hole. It's important that this vector is in the same direction as your Z vector in your machine coordinate system. If it's not, then when it generates, it's actually going to do the tool path the other way. So make sure that that is correct. If it's not correct, simply come over here and flip that direction. And then we'll select that one, and this one, that one, this one, that one. Now here in the sequence if I want to optimize it to do the shortest path which is probably the case uh, then I can drop this menu down and change it and the reason why I want to do that is because when you're machining things it costs money right and if your machine is taking a long time to go back and forth between holes then you're losing money so here you want to change that to say shortest path and then you can say reorder list and you can see that it gives you a much better uh, sequence. So there's one, I know this one's a little hard to see, but that's two, three, four, five, and six. If you didn't change this, what would happen is it would actually go into order in which you selected them. So then I'm going to say OK. And now I'm going to create an operation. So in hole making, I'm not going to spot drill these, uh, you know, just for purposes. Uh, these aren't critical. So I'm going to go in here and then say that I want to do a drilling operation. Now the parent is going to be the main program that I'm going to output. The tool is going to be the 1164th that I have here. The geometry is going to be the 1164 holes and the method is going to be, I'm just going to leave it at the default drill method and here you would give it a name. So I'm going to say OK. Now it says tool diameter is greater than the feature diameter. That's okay. Uh, I've gotten word from the customer that it is okay to use the 1164th drill bit on all these. So let's just see what it looks like. If I come over here and hit specify feature geometry and hit the display button, you can see that it's going based off of the holes that I selected in my 1164 holes feature geometry. So let's see what it looks like. Let's hit this generate button. And as you can see, there's my hole operation. Of course, I still need to go in here and set my feeds and speeds. Uh, and if I want a little more clearance, that's also a thing. And I'll show you a little bit more of uh, advanced options on this menu uh, later on. But that is how you would use uh, the whole feature geometry to help you create holes in NX Cam. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And as a matter of fact, just for giggles, I'm actually going to show you what this looks like. Uh, in real life, uh, I have a video of how it drilled out the holes on the Moriseki MV40. That way you can see that what I'm showing you is not BS. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you watching. Take care. Bye-bye.